The Gold Wing. It is known as the quintessential, the Cadillac of touring motorcycles. Speed, power, comfortable. But there's some things I don't like about mine. And what I'm referring to is the fifth generation. I purchased this bike brand new off the showroom floor and put many, many miles on it, loving every aspect of it. But there are some things I really, really don't like. And this applies to the fifth generation, not the sixth generation, even though I guess some of the things can go with the sixth generation because eventually I'm going to buy a sixth generation go away, but not no time soon. I'm more miles to put on this. So I want to talk about some of the things that I don't like about the Goldwing, and it irritates me. Now, I know the new Goldwings have a lot, of more, lot more upgrades, which I really don't need, but when I purchase it, I am going to enjoy the upgrades on the new Goldwing. But I'm going to talk about some of the things I don't like about this bike. There's a lot of things I really love about the bike, but there's some things I do not like about it. And I'm going to start with the number one thing Initially, they weren't in any order, but I really want to start with the number one thing because this is the number one thing I don't like about the Goldwing, and we're talking about the fifth generation, is the trunk. Not an aspect of storage space because I had a 1992 Goldwing, a 1500 Goldwing, which the storage space was lovely. The trunk was big, and you know, we measured storage space by how many helmets, two full size helmets could fit in a trunk top case, whatever you want to call it. Not necessarily going to carry two full size helmets in here. I'm, I'm just saying it is measured by what you can put in here or measured by two full size helmets. But that's not what I'm talking about. It's not about the storage because obviously it went from the 1500 to the 1800 got smaller and then the sixth generation got even smaller, which I know that they even made it bigger, I think in 2023 and 2024 the top case should be a little bigger so you have a lot more storage. But it's not because of the storage I don't like it. Come a little closer, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. The thing I really don't like about this is, exactly, look how I have it set up. I have my helmet here. I don't like the fact that it opens like this. So if I'm riding with a seat bag on my bike or a passenger on my bike, I really have no easy access to my trunk. I have to lift up and struggle to try to get in here with my seat bag on it. And obviously, if I have a passenger on it, which I personally don't ride with a passenger, the passenger got to lean forward or get off the bike in order to have access to the trunk. And that's what I like mostly about different bikes, especially the Harley Davidson, the trunk opens sideways. The passenger don't have to get off. You don't have to remove your seat. You have easy access to your items on the trunk. Another thing I don't like about the Gold Wing is it is full of plastic. I mean, I don't want a lot of heavy parts on it. The bike itself is already heavy. It's 900 pounds. So they don't need to put a lot of heavy chrome parts on it. But the plastic on it is ridiculous. Let me give you an example. To If you ride anything like Cake and I ride, you know, we ride freeways, we ride back roads. But when we see something that we want to get to, the road doesn't matter. And we ride a lot of off roads, especially when we're doing our camping. And this plastic is so fragile, it breaks. I'll show you something. Ignore the fact that the bike is dirty. This is plastic, and back here, it's separated, it breaks. Now, obviously, we fixed it and didn't fix it well enough because you still hit a rattling. But we're going down roads, all that rattling because of the plastic, it is horrible. That's one thing I don't like about it. Another thing I don't like about it, in order to take the front tire off, or <laughs> In order to put air in the front tire, I gotta take the seat off, gotta take the panel off, take the rear tire off, lift the trunk open, open the saddlebags, take the windshield off, just to put air in my tires. Now, obviously that's an exaggeration, but they are extremely hard to work on if you're trying to get in the internal parts of it. You have a lot of parts to move. Now, just like any other bike, oil changes are easy, obviously, inflating tires and checking all those things, the basics are easy, but have you ever seen somebody change the air filter in a gold wing? We change both our own air filters. Once you do it once, it becomes easier. Not easy, but easier because now you know exactly what to do, how to take it off and put it back together. Okay, this would Big Easy look like all torn apart. During my air filter, cake done hush two days ago. Her and Willie, but look how nasty this is. Look how dirty. 
It is. Now with all the terrain we ride and all the stuff that we ride in, that's it's nasty. And that's what it takes to do a Honda Goldwing air filter. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to remove. And the first thing you have to remove when you're doing your Honda Goldwing air filter is your rear tire. <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Rich is about to slip in. Slip in new booty. They built this bike horribly for the person who liked to work on their own bike. Albeit, I won't work on an engine. That's not my place to do it. And Goldwing engines are bulletproof. We never had any problems with the engines. Okay, the next thing I don't, don't like about the bike, and I'm specifically talking about 2012 and above, because 1800 came out, I think, in 2001, and then they switched the design in 2012. Mine's a 2015. I purchased it brand new in 2016. The fit and finish, the paint job on this particular bike, I don't know about any other bikes, it is horrible. I mean, horrible. I could scratch some of the paint with my fingers, not saying I really want to do that, but the paint job is horrible. I mean, Honda just dropped the ball on that one. I understand with the Generation 6, paint jobs are much better. And they still, they're going back to only coming out with a few colors. I like the fact that Honda would have many colors when they come out with their new bikes. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the paint job, the fit and finish itself is horrible. The next thing I don't, I'm not crazy over about the go away is the side stand. Now, what I do like, the side stand, it doesn't tilt the bike all the way over. What I don't like, the side stand, your bike is virtually standing straight up. So if you got any contour in a curve where you're on the high side of it, I can't put my side stand down. I can't put it on at all. Now, I can buy an aftermarket shorter stand and it'll lean the bike a little bit more over, then that's just more pounds I have to pick up. But I know how to pick the bike up, a heavy bike like this off the side stand easily. If you hadn't seen that video, I'll plug it up there. Go check that video out if you have a big touring bike, how easy it is to lift it off the side stand just by doing a few things differently. But that's what I don't like about it. And the side stand is so small. When we get to a location where there's grass or dirt, we have to put a plate down on it. Even though we purchased something different, we purchased that, and that helps when it comes to parking and putting a side stand down in dirt, sand, and gravel. I mean, there's tons of things I love about the bike, but that's just a few things I don't like about it. Now, obviously, some people say, well, I don't like it that because it's heavy and bulky, but obviously you're not in control of your motorcycle if you're riding a Honda. Goldwing and it's heavy and bulky to you. You can whip these things around like any other bike. Of course it's heavy. And if you're not up on your slow speed, it becomes a little bit more heavy and cumbersome. But once you get that down, not a problem. Not a problem at all. But let's see if there's any, oh, okay. Another thing I didn't like about the Goldwing were the antennas. They have two antennas that stick directly in the, in the air. What I do like about the antenna you know, are easy to attach a flag to it. What I didn't like about it, I just didn't like the way it looked. So of course, I wind up getting the shorty look antennas. I wind up getting these short antennas. And I wind up get, getting that because I was riding with Tony Reno, Two Wheel for Fun, and he had the short antennas. I asked him where did he purchase them. Even though I've seen them before, so I wind up purchasing them and I got my name on mine, Big Easy, on it. However, with the antennas, if you have a CB, they don't work that well. Every company claiming that it works extremely well. If you have a CB and you change antennas, the CB still will work well. No, it don't. And I'd have recalibrated my CB and it doesn't work. Albeit I very seldom use a CB, only use it when I'm riding with other riders with CB. When Cake and I are riding together 99% of the time, I have no reason to turn the CB on. If we stuck in traffic, sometimes I turn it on and I talk to truckers and find out what's the tra traffic jam. And then that's about it. Other than that, I don't use the CB. Speaking of CB, it did not come with a CB. And if you know anything about the Gold Wingers, especially the Gold Wing Road Ride Association, all the guys are old. They, some reason, they just starting to catch up with technology, with using Cena's and Cardos. But they all do use CBs. But it didn't come with the CB, you had to purchase that separately. Last and final thing that I really, really don't like about the Gold Wing, and I know most people don't like this about their bike when they first buy it. If if you listen to the music, the stock radio is absolutely 
horrible. I mean, horrible. Now, a lot of Harley riders, especially the guys who get into new motorcycles, they don't like their stock radios. But your stock radios make ours sound like super crap. And they are way better than, I would rather a Harley Davidson stock radio on this than a stock radio that I have. Of course, I'm getting new speakers, I'm gonna get an upgrade on it because like I said, I'm spying on uh, getting rid of the spike no time soon. Anyway, that's all I have for now about things I do not like about my gold wing. And I don't wanna talk about what I really love about it because we'll be all day on this video. So that's all I have for now. So if you're out riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.